Today we're going to be creating a fish bowl. Our learning target is I can use the elements of art, line, shape, and color to create patterns. The first step is to paint some light to dark blue waves on a large piece of blue construction paper for our fish bowl. I'm starting with my lightest shade of blue, so I'm picking up some white paint, moving it to a different area on my paint tray, and mixing in a tiny bit of blue so that I'm creating a very, very light shade of blue. Now I'm going to paint a wavy line. You'll repeat this step over and over, picking up more white paint and more blue paint, making your shade of blue darker and darker as your wavy lines move down the page. So for this next line, I want it to be just a little bit darker blue than my first line. And if I made it too light, I can always add more blue paint to darken it. If it's too dark, then I can always add more white paint to make it lighter. Experiment and try your best. I also want you to notice how I'm painting my wavy lines very carefully. They're not scribbly, and if there's any spaces that need more paint, I'm just adding some more paint. I don't want them to look rough. I want them to look nice and neat, so take your time. After your blue waves dry, we're using green paint to make more wavy lines for our seaweed. Using a Q-tip, I'm adding rocks to the bottom of my fishbowl using beige and white paint. While that dries, let's work on our big rainbow fish. Paint a piece of paper with watercolor paint in rainbow order. Once that dries, we'll use a black marker to draw a giant fish. Using the elements of art, lines, shapes, we're going to make patterns inside of each part of our fish. Cut him out and glue him anywhere in your fish bowl. The last step is to use this fancy metallic paper to draw a couple more fish, at least three. Inside of these metallic fish, I want you to create more patterns as well. You'll notice I made fish scales using curved lines, fish scales using zigzag lines, and I even made a heart pattern. I'm excited to see all the patterns you create on your different fish.